What's up, guys? Welcome to Katura Tello. Guys, please like, share, and comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Anything you like to know about me and this channel will be down in the description below. Also, I do this for entertainment purpose only, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I also like you to know that no weapon formed against me shall never, ever prosper. I am protected by the Most High God and my team of spiritual warriors of the highest light. My ancestors don't play about me, so please, for your safety, don't even try it. On that note, I'd like to call in your warriors, my warriors, and the Most High God to this reading so I can get clear, accurate channel messages. Please and thank you. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? What y'all up to out there? So I decided to do um, a self-love, self-care reading um, to see what, you know, ancestors where guys want us to focus on while, you know, certain things that's being, in, um, that's being taken care of in the background, you know, we could always do our part by loving on us, focusing on us, you know, that, that attention that we, we used to always pour into other people that didn't deserve it whatsoever. It's time for us to literally start pouring it into us, into our own cup. You feel me? And yeah, so let's see. What, what do Spirit, your team, my team, let's see what they want for us. With this self love, self care. Okay, they should take that. Damn. Okay, <laughs> reading. Um, we got abundance. Mm -hmm. Being a thoughtful, um, strive forward for the money you already have in the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. So off back I'm getting spirit want us to know that if we could handle it, if we could handle just this little bit, right? They're gonna give us more. Because we can if we could handle this, then we could handle that. And once we handle that, then we'd be able to what? Handle something even bigger, more. So the more we evolve, the more we we handle what we need to handle within ourselves, more will be poured on us, poured into our cup. So they hand they handing us that we doing what the best we can with this, right? So here we go again. There's like, oh, you did the universe is like, oh, you did that? You, you handled that like a pro. Let me give you something more. They gave us some more. They're like, oh, wow. You handle that too? All right, you know what? Yeah, you're the real deal. Let me give you another one. Bomb. Even more. So the more you, you, you take care of yourself, the more you focus on you, the more you do what you're guided to do, love on you, you know, it's all about you, the more that will be added to you. You feel me? As much is given, though, much is expected. So you're expected to keep growing you're not trying to get back to this side you want to just get bigger and bigger you feel me and that's what's happening you you realize if you can manage this then the universe spirit god ancestors have no problem you know pouring more you know into you and yeah then we also have security the true security comes from having a reserve, a, sorry, resolve, reserve of time, sorry, space, energy, personal power, and love. Make deposit in all of the accounts and you'll be a wealthy person indeed. So, what I'm getting from that is the security that you're yearning for, or looking for is what I'm hearing is, it's within you. The more you pour into, into you and secure you, is the more you will get. So if you have a space and you know, like, all right, this is your space, right? Let me use this one. This is your space, right? And this is given, this is given to you, right? You're putting your energy, your time, your effort into it, right? 
and then you realize okay i could do even more for that space i have you're taking care of business is basically what i'm getting at you know your personal power your growth your love that you have for you you're depositing into you it's like going to the bank and you depositing the money into the bank account well you are the bank you feel me and you do have account for you so now you're depositing that money into you back into you because you can't pour from an empty cup you can't withdraw from a um an empty uh, an empty account so the more you deposit into you the more you grow you understand what i mean the more so you know you start off putting on let me take care of this for me like oh let me do my head my nails you know you're able to just do your nails you know for whatever reason you have financial struggle right but you're still able to be able to paint your nails you know now you're able to paint your toes and now you're able to get your hair done now you're able to do some skincare routine something you never did before you know stuff like that you're able to deposit you just keep depositing into you and the more you deposit into you the more your experience of you will grow the more the overflow of you will occur because you're what pouring back into you you're not out here waiting for somebody to pour into you you're you're doing the pouring into you for self because at the end of the day, you treat people, you teach people how you want to be treated. So by treating yourself, people's already seeing like, oh, okay, she, she makes sure she handled that with herself and that with herself. So I know if I come around, I got to make sure I match that energy and do better. You feel me? So it's like that. Just stay depositing to yourself. The more you put money in there... The more you put into you, you keep depositing into you, the more you grow. The more the, the deposit just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the more overflow you get within yourself, you know. Then we have surrender. Stop trying to control life. It gets in the way of divine intervention. Yes, I could. <laughs> Spirit power talking to me too. I resonate with that. You know, Hi, my name is Tanya, and I could be a control freak. I like to, you know, control everything and everyone around me that's, that I allow around me. <laughs> Make sure everything is good with them. Make sure everything is good with me. Make sure stuff is done in a particular way. But, you know, it comes time when spirit is like, stop. Because you may be, you know, just doing what you're accustomed to doing which you're known to do for self. You, you understand? As, and, and sometimes you just need to just let go and let God. Like, you know, you don't need to micromanage in everything. You know, you need to just let go. Let go and trust the process is what I'm hearing. Because with you, you, you may be trying to do this, right? But, you know, spirit, the universe, God got more, a bigger platform for you. You know, a better way of doing it for you because you're so used to doing it one way that you're not even seeing that there's a better, easy, and a more effective way to do it because you're so used to and, comfor and, and comfortable with how you've been doing it for so long. So surrender all of that. Surrender the controlling of everything, you know. You literally got a team around you. Allow them to do their job, you know. That's the, that you, there's no I in team, even though I, I beg to differ on that because there is me in team, but that's just me. I'm always thinking out of the box. I see stuff differently, but technically there's no I in team and you have a hell of a team around you that like minds don't play with you. You feel me? So now that you are awakened to knowing that you have a team around you, a team, they, they come together and do what they need to do for the best of you. So by you interfering in what they're trying to do for you, you know, you're stagnant the situation. You're, 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 you're doing way too much and you just need to step back and let them because now you recognize that they're there and they're trying to help you and become the best version of you on a day-to-day -day basis. You just have to let go and stop trying to control everything and everyone around you because at the end of the day, 
you know, you only could control you. And with that, you have a team that's helping you. Allow them to do their part and allow yourself to do your part by surrendering. You don't have to do it all no more. You don't have to do absolutely nothing no more. You don't have to go, you know, return, like return any bullshit that people done did to you. You don't have to plot no revenge. You <laughs> You got a team for that. So while you talk to them and you let them know how you feel and, you know, they're going to do that part. They're going to handle everything that's needed to handle for you while you focus on yourself, you know, while you focus on your security. Your security is deposited what? Back into who? You. So allow them to do their part while you're surrendering what you have no control over, the day-to-day, -day, you know, bullshit of people trying to come at you, both in the physical and the spirit. Allow them to take care of that while you continue working on your security by depositing into you. Because like I said before, you, treat, um, you teach people how to treat you. So, in order, in other words, you're not trying to um, do what you used to do when you was in South No Energy. You're in North No Energy, right? So, it's, it's all new. So, you just really just need to focus on you right now and pour back into you. Because for a very long time, with no one pouring into you, you kept doing all the pouring into other people. No one, you know, was pouring into you. And your cup got really dry and empty and cracked up and dusty and all kinds of shit. So you got a hell of a lot of work to do. So stop thinking you got to do everything, you know. That's what the team is there for. They they there to take care of what you don't need to take care of no more. You know, you never needed to do that, but you didn't know that they was there. You didn't even know you had a team. You ain't know none of this shit. But now you know, allow them to do their part. And you just focus on what pouring into you so that you're, you know, you could get vibrant. Your skin that was looking dried up and cracked up could start getting moisturized and looking the best. Your hair was probably thinned out. Now you're focusing on hair, hair care and, you're, you know, you're making sure that you do what you need to do for that hair care so it could get thick and healthy again, you know. So while you focus on that, allow them to do the other stuff is what I'm hearing, you know. We, 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 we tend to um do that. <laughs> And we got mind. You are the master of your inner world. You decide how the outer world affects you. Cultivate a calm inner state. That's exactly what I was just saying. You know, you know you're in control of this avatar that you create that you know, you ain't created, God created, but you know what I mean. That you're, you're building, that you're, you're nurturing, you're doing what you need to do for you. You, you know, because everything is mind over matter. Your mind, you think it, you create it. So you need to f put your focus on you. Again, I'm getting security. You need to focus more on you and let the outer world, you know, approach, deal with you in a way where, okay, this is what I want the outer world to, this is how I want the outer world to view me as. So in order for them to view me as that, I have to what? Deposit back into me, you know, take care of the security. That's me. You know, you are the bank. You are the, the bank that gets deposited in, you know. So if you're going to do any withdrawal, you know, to pour into somebody else, you want to make sure that you, you're taken care of first and foremost because for a long time, You've been withdrawing and pouring into other people and they wasn't, you know, returning the favor. They, you know, they bounce, check bounce. You was a check bounce is what I'm hearing. So, you know, our minds is powerful, you know. Our mind is super powerful. It's the damn computer, you feel me? Super powerful. The the motherboard. And but again, I'm getting off track. Allow if you want the outer world to view you in a certain way and to approach you in a certain way, you need to focus on your security, which is you, by depositing into you, by thinking, feeling, acting, touching, you know, everything that revolves around depositing into you so that they can know how to come at you. They know they can't come to you and play no mind games neither because you already evolve and know who you are and you have a hell of a team in the background just working and rooting for you so you got this you know just control your mind just meditate drink some tea focus on what's new just focus on you is what i'm hearing 
you know, because by focus on you, that's how your abundance is coming in. You feel me? Your physical abundance, your material abundance is coming in. The more you focus on you, the more you deposit on you, is the more abundance and material wealth is that it will come to you for you to deposit. So I don't know about you. Let me go and focus on my, the security that I am, the bank that I am, you know, and, and do what I need to do because it's, it's a lot of greatness to you. You got to you know, have that love, that energy, that time, that space, that personal power. You got to, all of that is a check that you need to write and deposit into you. You know, it's even here. You know, you write a check. And you could, you know what I'm hearing? Oh, thank you, Spirit. You could get a checkbook. You know, or you can print out some fake checks or whatever. And you could... Start writing out these checks is what I'm hearing and write them and have like a little boxing. The box is basically you and you're depositing like, okay, let me write a check today of love, of showing love and appreciation of loving on me. And how did I show myself love today? Did I talk to myself lovingly? Did I did a loving thing that I, I felt like doing? You know, whatever it is, you know. Let me write a check of energy. Did I give away too much energy or did I put enough energy within myself for me? Because the, the key is me. I'm the security. I'm the bank, you know. Or another, another thing is time. Did I take out enough time in a day for me? Let me write a check on time. And you put you deposit it into this box that you do and you go sit down and have that personal time with you and you absolutely let no one disrupt your time your your space your energy your love and your personal power for you you will not do that so every time you write a check to yourself about something you want to deposit into yourself you go take that time out for you, whatever it is that you're depositing into you, and allow no one to come and disrupt your peace. You, if you had kids, you give them their little time and everything, they're like, you good, you good, you good, all right. You got a man or a girl, whatever, you good, gave you some good time, you good, you good, you good, okay, now it's what? Me time. And you see, you get you get the check and you write it out and be like, okay, I wanna work on this. Um, for myself, let me write this check and deposit it into the box. Is the again the box is you? You gonna create a box, decorate it now. Tap into your inner child. Just don't get a damn like shoe box and just have it there like big ass Nike and Jordan sign and that's it. No, decorate that box to your liking, to who you are. Or you know, tap into your inner child. You know, when you was a little kid, you used to color and, and, and draw and paint and you know put little sparkling glitter and just just get creative with it you know make it unique because you are a unique soul you are so make it work for you is what i'm trying to say and even the checks you get these checks you could print out some fake checks out and you you cut it out and you color it and you just make it look pretty and say okay let me take out some time for me you write you write that check and you go deposit into the box the boxes you know, you and you go take that time out and you go work on you for whatever check that you wrote for yourself. It's, whew, I hope y'all got that because this is download I'm getting as I'm speaking it to you. To you. That was the last. Oh, that was it. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm. That's what, what I'm getting. Um, we we you know we gotta. In order, in order to change, in order to acquire what we want in life, we have to move different. We have to do different. We can't do the same thing like we did, you know, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, 10 years ago. No, nah, you're a whole different being. You're no longer in South No Energy where you don't know who you are. You don't know that you have a hell of a team around you rooting for you, guiding you in certain places, making sure that you don't go down the wrong block the wrong or whatever it is for you. Telling you that don't listen to this fool right here. It's nothing but fucking lies coming out of their mouth. Helping you to work on your third eye. Showing you what you need to see with your third eye, which is your true eye, your first eye, actually. You know, just teaching you because they're the best team, in, you know, in the universe. At least mine is. 
I tell them that all the time. You, I have the best spiritual team in the universe. Like they are match. Like they don't play about me, and they really don't. You know, I don't have to do absolutely nothing to no one. Even though everybody think I'm doing something to them because they shit is all fucked up. Not taking accountability to you fucking me over and this so uh, uh, this woman that's running around. Well, she have a woman and um name and shit like that, but she she body both masculine and feminine, and her name is what Karma, and Karma is a motherfucking what bitch that doesn't what. Like, because that bitch don't play. You could be zero years old to 100 plus years old. She going to come get hers. You feel me? So what you put out in the universe is what you get back. So within, so without, so above, so below. Everything already happened in the spirit world out there first. And then it's, it get what? Manifest into the physical world. So know that you ain't trying to get some bullshit to come back to you. So you got to be mindful of what, mindful of what you put out there. What you're saying, what you're doing, what you're allowing to enter your body, whether it's food, whether it's, you know, watching a program, whether it's gossiping people, whatever you got, you have to be mindful. It's very important what you're pouring, what you're allowing to be deposited into you. It's very important. So, yeah, they, they just think I'm doing the most while I'm over here minding my business. Focus on me and, 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 and being the security, the secure person that I am and what deposit into me so that a time will come where I'll be like, okay, let me go into my bank account, which is me and deposit something to someone else. Like I'm a withdraw and then, you know, here you go, deposit into their account. Give them a little bit of you. Now you know that you got to protect your energy, protect who you are and everything like that. And if you decide to share your energy with certain people, you want to, you know, make sure you're, you're mindful about who, what, where, when, how, and why, you know? Yeah, that's what I was getting. <laughs> and I, 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 I don't have to do nothing any. Neither do you, and any magic I'm working on is magic on self. Because at the end of the day, the secret to life is figuring out self. You know, I came in this world by myself. I'm gonna leave this world by myself. Even if you was a twin, triplets, quadruplet, whatever, each and each baby came out one by one. No two babies came out at the same time. So whether it's a minute apart, five minutes, three hours apart. That's your own personal time, own personal space, you know, your own, you, your own bank. So, yeah, you just be mindful, very important. And what you can't handle, surrender it. Surrender it to your team. They will gladly, I'm going to say that out loud, they will be gladly appreciated. Let them work. <laughs> You know, they, they, they've they been watching you quiet for so long, like, come on, just ask for help. But then they had to remember, damn, she don't even know I'm here, or he don't even know I'm here, or I exist, or anything of this exists. So they had to be, what, patient. And now that you know, ah, uh, ah, uh, you be like, uh, spirit guide, so-and-so and so-and-so. You be like, ah, uh, ancestor, so-and-so and so-and-so, and then, you know, so forth and so forth. <laughs> So, yeah, allow them to do what they do while you focus on you because you got a lot of healing to do. You got a lot to work on because your cup is dry and you're trying to what? Deposit into you. Deposit all that goodness what? Back into you because a lot of people took you for granted, stole your energy, you know, literally. Sh they're just shameless of how they just be sh extracting from you. Just taking whatever they feel they want from you all willy-nilly like it's all okay and you don't have no saying or nothing. And then get mad when you put up a protection shield around you and you call back in your power. They like, how dare you, that audacity. I used to pull on your energy and just be winning all the time and now you want to protect your energy against me? Like, you really got people out there that think like that. You got to, you just looking at them like, is this motherfucker serious? Are they hearing they self? <laughs> like... The nerve of you protecting you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the audacity. Because they've been fucking over you for so damn long. They got comfortable. They rely on your energy and everything that's you for so long. Because for so long, 
You ain't know. But that's the difference. You ain't know, so you couldn't act upon what it is that you didn't know. But now that you know, you move accordingly. You know, it's one thing to, you know, when you don't know something, and it's another thing when you do know. So when you know, you do better. You know better, you do better. <laughs> So you ain't going to allow anybody to just be pulling on your shit. You like a goddamn on phone battery. Only 100% of your battery before the shit start dying down. And before it needs to what? Get charged back up and come back up. Imagine how much time you felt draining everything and you couldn't accomplish what you need to accomplish because you got these motherfuckers over here trying to pull on your energy, trying to extract from you so that you, whatever you have going on for you, they could take it and, and, and go build on it for them and make them, you know, rich or or succeed at whatever they're trying to succeed at getting, you know. I even had a, <laughs> I had a lady one time that used my energy to uh, to get her um, liquor license. Like, could never get it before. But I come around this bitch, yes, and she, she was just shameless. I ain't even going to get into that. But she was just shameless. <laughs> You know, so now that I know what it is and know what it look like, feel like and everything, I'm moving accordingly. Hell no, nah, I ain't going to just have my shit energy out there all willy nilly for anybody to just, you know, st stomp on me and take it out and do what the fuck they do. Nah. Again, you know better, you do better. You know what's up, so you move accordingly to you. Period. Risk. Take a chance. Every risk is a success when you're committed to learning the growth. And that's very true because you won't know if you were winning something or if that thing right there will work for you until you take a risk, until you take a chance on who? You. And go try it. If they pulling on your energy and using your own energy to make business move for them and it's working and they succeeding why can't you take a risk on your own self and pull back your own energy you know because once you call it back in it's no longer theirs they can't fuck with it because it's your birthright it's yours it's a gift to you from the most high god so once you know what it is and you call it back in and you take that risk on you you know and you succeed because you will because it's yours what's for you will always be for you and you won't know if it's not for you unless you take that risk, unless you take that chance and see, like, man, I don't know if this is going to work, but, you know, that's okay. We tend to, you know, doubt ourselves, but as long as you recognize that's what you're doing and put that shit, kick that shit to the curb and move forward anyway by taking that risk on you, you're going to be all right. You are going to be all right. Yes, you are. And we got space. The quality of your life has more to do with what you remove from your life than what you add to it. Give yourself the gift of space. Ah, that's so true, yo. Let go of these people, places, things, situations that no longer serve you. You know, you catered to them for so long, you thought that this is, that was it. You know, you taking care of family members, you know, looking out for them, you know, you haven't missed opportunities because you're considering that particular family member, they going through whatever, and you're like, you know, I got to hold them down. Who says who say you got to do that? Sometimes the people that we are, we are holding on to is the ones that's, you know, blocking our destiny, blocking us from moving forward to own, winning what it is that we need to win for ourselves, you know, blocking us from taking these risks, these chances, so that we could get what? The abundance that's rightfully ours. We can't get it unless we what clean shop. Let go of certain people that no longer serve you, whether they family, friends, folk, I wouldn't give a damn. If you need to let go of somebody, let them go. Cause at the end of the day, they came here by themselves and they're gonna leave by themselves. Same rules with you. So while you're here on planet Earth, which is nothing but a big ass classroom, you're gonna have to move accordingly to you. You want to know, you got to know when to hold them and when to fold. You got to know when to go and when, you, you just got to pick your, your, your battles, you know, because everything is not for you. So, you need a clean space. You need to clean out what no longer serves you. You got, 
I wouldn't care if they were siblings, parents, cousins, grandparents, aunties, uncles. I wouldn't care if they're not doing good by you or they're not good for you. It's no need for them to be in your space. Because they're just going to be cluttered, taking a clutter. They're going to be like little roaches running around. And I don't know about you, but don't nobody got time for these roaches. <laughs> okay. And we got decision. Sometimes the best decision is no decision at all. Sometimes you may feel like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to do this, this, this. What if I do this? this, this? Ah, overthinking too much. Fall back. Let it go. Let it go. Surrender it. Surrender the decision that's driving you crazy. Your team is there to help you with these decisions. You know, you're not here to do it by yourself. Sometimes you don't even need to make a decision because not making a decision is a decision in its own. And you know, so allow. And yes, you're risking it, but that's the thing. By you risking it, you find out, well, I didn't really make the decision. Yes, you did, because no decision is actually a decision. And that turned out to be the best thing you could possibly do. What's not, make a, what's not to make a decision or a move on that particular thing that was bothering you for so long to take a move on? You decided to go against it by not making a decision, and it turned out to work for you in your favor. And the last one we got is your body. Your body deserves your love, point blank, period. Because if you're not going to love this avatar that you're in, who going to love it, boo? Again, what I said earlier, you teach people how to love you. So if you're not loving on you, loving on your body, talking to your body, be like, oh, it's so gorgeous, you know? Just showing your body love. Ain't nobody going to come do it the way that you could do it for yourself. Because you're teaching them how to love you. Because you're not going to accept less than. You're not in your south node. You're living in your purpose or heading to your purpose, leaving the South Node. So ain't nobody going to love on you like you. You're not accepting nothing less. You're not accepting no type of um, breadcrumbs. Not at all. Not at all. Love on your body, yo. This body goes with you everywhere you go on this planet until it's time to go back to Father. So love, nurture. Take care of it. Take care of this avatar that you're in. We got success. Today is a really good day. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people shows up for you and unexpected. Gifts fall into your lap. It's time. It is time. It is time, and this is telling you, this is summing it up. Everything that you went through, everything that you worked for, is leading you to your success. It's leading to every headache, every cry, every tear, every fall. You got back up, and you kept it moving. Now what's coming in for you is destined for you, your success. Finally, it's your time. For a long time, it was other people doing their thing, and you was there, whoo, like being happy for them. Yay, da 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 da, da. so happy for you. It's your time now. Success is yours, and success is your birthright. It's your time. Oh, God, I got to go. Well, I'm coming. Yeah, so... It's your time, and that's what I have for you guys. Please like, share, and comment. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd like to thank you, your warriors, my warriors, for this reading. And you have a blessed day, morning, evening, afternoon, whenever you see this video. All right, now, bye.